Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna go through how I fixed an alignment issue that I've discovered with my steel factory in relation to my main mega factory project. Now this problem popped up on a recent stream where I was building my road network and discovered that while I did build the steel factory to the world grid, I did not consider its vertical placement in relation to everything else. Now, eventually this steel factory will get connected to everything, so I need to make sure that it's at the right height. Now there are a few things I could do here. I could rebuild the entire thing at the correct height, or I could use a mod and select everything and then move it to the right location. Or I can use Satisfactory Calculator's interactive map. That's what I've chosen to go with today. Now this approach may not be for everyone, but I just don't have the patience to rip out a perfectly fine and working factory that I had just finished building only to tear it all down and rebuild it all over again, just two and a half meters higher. So if you're cool with using some outside tools and not an absolute purist, hopefully this tutorial helps you out. So with that all being said, let's hop into the tutorial. So to solve this problem, I've gone ahead and zooped out a line of foundations that is attached to our mega factory to use as a reference point for how high up I need to correct the steel factory. The first thing I'm gonna do is drag out a line just to get a little bit closer to the factory itself. And then I'm gonna go up two meters this way, it's still on the same vertical grid as the factory, but it will make all the clearance I need for my miners and things like that. Next, I'm going to add in a temporary foundation just so that I can find it easily inside of Satisfactory Calculator. And then I'm just gonna color it to make it even easier. From there, we're going to go ahead and just create a new save and call this Before Offset. Click save and then head over to Satisfactory Calculator's interactive map. Once you're in Satisfactory Calculator's interactive map, where you're going to click this button here to upload your save. You're going to navigate to where your save folder is, find your save, click open. It's going to reload and then it's going to load up your entire save file. We need to come in here and we're going to find our reference. Uh, foundation you can see that it says 82 meters but if I right click and hit update position it actually says it's 8150 so it does a little bit of rounding in there we're gonna find our temporary foundation it says it's currently at 79 click on this just to confirm and it's at 7900 so the next thing we're going to do is take the rectangle selection tool and drag a box around the whole factory. This is going to ruin some of my bridge and some of my loading station, but that's a lot easier to fix than the entire factory. So we're going to click offset selected items position once this window pops up. And then we need to add the difference that we had between our reference and our temporary foundation. That was 250, I guess we're calling them millimeters. We click submit. And then once it's done, you're going to hit download saved game. Click save and the file is going to download to your computer. Once the file's downloaded, just go find it on your hard drive and then we're going to drag it over to our save file. I'll put this location in the description down below. Drop it into place and then come back to your game. Hit load game and you'll find this before offset underscore calculator and we hit load game once your game is loaded you'll now see that this foundation and this foundation line up perfectly and if we go and check our road place this down and we go vertically you can see that it will also line up perfectly as well this is the part of the bridge that was inside of the selection point, so I'll have to tear all of this out as well as some of my miners, which are now somewhat floating, but awkwardly still delivering resources. But that's it. That's the whole tutorial. Hopefully some of you non-purist Fixit employees found this helpful, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more content. I'll see you on the next one.